Hello guys and welcome to Kitchen Colony. On this channel, I'll be bringing to you a taste of Jamaican inspired meals with a twist to suit every palate. Please remember guys to hit that like button, it means a lot. Today I'll be making some avocado oil to sprinkle over my salad. Now if you'd like to see me do that, then continue watching. Before we move on, let me just take this time to thank my subscribers, old and new, and also my viewers. Thank you for coming back faithfully every week. There are three ways in which you could extract the oil from the avocado. One, you could leave it in the sun. Two, leave it on your countertop. And three, use the stove. So that's the one I like doing, but you need some oil to extract the oil. One thing with avocado, it doesn't carry a lot of oil. So sometimes you have to add oil to draw that oil from it. In my bowl, I have some overripe avocados. And normally we throw these out because it's too soft, but today I'm going to use it to make some oil. Now it, the, the avocados are, are already cleaned, so I'm just going to drain the water and get ready to cut in them. I'm going to cut them and check them to see if they're soft or if they're spoiled, because if they're spoiled you don't want that. Now, here we have it. We're removing the pit. And then we're just going to scoop it out. Just scoop it out and put it in another bowl for crushing. Now you may crush it in your blender or food processor or whatever. But I'm going to use a fork today. And we don't want a rot, um, a, 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 an avocado that is rotten. Now from the amount of um, avocado I had there, I, I only got five good ones to use. So I'm going to crush it. You may use your blender as I said before to get it crushed, but I'm just using the fork. So we're going to crush until we get a smooth paste. Now you may extract the oil for your body, your hair, or to consume. And I usually do this to make, you know, my salad dressing. Now this is actually smooth enough for me, so I can get ready for the next stage. We are going to try to remove as much moisture from the avocado, so we're going to fry it off first in the pot. Now we're going to need some oil to extract the oil from the avocado. I'll add a cup, but in quarter cup increments. What I'm actually doing is spreading out the avocado, the bottom of the pan. Make sure you're using a non-stick pan, and so that it can dry quickly. This takes about five minutes or more, about five minutes for me. And then we add our oil and allow it to fry until all the oil is extracted. And you'll know because the avocado color starts changing. Now keep stirring so that you can get rid of most of the moisture because we want to bring up the oil. And then I'm going to use about a half a cup of oil. No, we don't want to use an oil that has a very strong taste like um, olive oil or coconut oil because it will change the taste of the avocado. So we use a different oil like maybe rapeseed oil, sunflower oil, whatever, light oil so that you can maintain the taste of the avocado. Now I think I've gotten out most of the moisture so I'm going to add my half cup of oil now you may use more oil if you want because the more um, intense the taste, the less oil. I'm adding one cup of oil to ease in the process so that the avocado will start yielding its oil. So we have to keep stirring, we don't want it to burn. So keep stirring until it releases the oil. Now it is actually finished, you see the bubbles? At this stage it's finished, I'm gonna turn it off. It took about 10 minutes. And I'm going to allow it to cool and then I strain and show you the color. Now this is our first straining. 
Now remember, if you have a cheesecloth, you would not have to strain two times. But I'm using a strainer. Now the oil has settled. And as soon as it settles, we, we throw it off and allow it to settle somewhere and then it keeps throwing it off. So I'm going to throw off the top part. See how green it is? Very concentrated. You could have added another cup of oil because right now it's very concentrated. Now here you have it guys, avocado dressing or avocado oil infused with herbs. Now it is very easy and quick and brings such a wonderful flavor to your salad. To make my dressing I added some dried pepper, dried chives and also dried dill. Now, if you add them very fresh, they're going to go rancid if you have it for a long time. But if you're gonna use it up within a few days, then that would be okay. Now guys, this is not the time for us to be wasting stuff. If you have soft avocados, don't throw them out. Make salad dressing as I showed you or use them to make oils for a body and they're here. If you've enjoyed what you've just watched, then please give me a thumbs up, share my videos, and if you have not yet subscribed, please remember to do so. I do enjoy making these videos for you and I do appreciate your comments. Thank you all for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.